Now here's the man that needs no introduction. Hey everybody, it's uh, Jim here. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Hey everybody, it's uh, Jim here. I've always wanted to do this. Hey everybody, it's uh, Jim here. What's your connection to Parkinson's disease? Hey everybody, it's uh, Jim here. Ah, sorry, that's my foot. I'll do better next time. Hey everybody, it's Jim here. Welcome back to the Spinning Wheels Parkinson's Conversation with Jim here podcast. I'm live on location from my childhood home in eastern Ontario, close to Brockville. Just before we start the podcast, I'd like to remind you that the podcast is brought to you in part by uh, Parkinson's Awareness and Action out of Cornwall, Ontario, and you can find them on Facebook. And partially is brought to you by PDT. The Healing Power of Tea Applied to Parkinson's. Please go to www.pdt.com for more information. Today's episode, we go back to YouTube Lives that uh, we were doing on the Spinning Wheels Tour. This one uh, is from Regina, and you'll notice that I am not in it. Uh, during this day, Steve and I were still out on the bikes and it was uh, time to do the live. So today you get to see Mike and Darlene do the YouTube live. It is the, truly, this is my favorite of all the YouTube lives that we did just because you get to see them. It's another example of how they filled in and were able to do whatever it is uh, they could in order to make the tour successful. So sit back and enjoy Mike and Darlene in Regina. Hello everybody, it's the Speed Wheels Friday night update to beautiful Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm here with my wife Darlene. Hello dear. Hi dear. We've been, uh, we're taking over today because um, the boys are still out on the road. They dealt with a headwind. Yesterday they were bragging about their tailwind that helped push them along to good mileage. And now it's time for Mike and Darlene's Spinning Wheels Tour flashback. Was it 160 yesterday? Yes. Yes. So. And they were averaging 30, over 30 kilometers an hour, right? Yeah. That was uh, one of the good ones. Um, so they were happy about the tailwind that started the day yesterday, but today they're paying for it because they got some headwinds they're riding through. How you doing for water? Holy windy day. <laughs> Normally they would have been in a couple hours ago, but uh, oh well, we'll have to go out and find them when we're done here. <laughs> if they're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> if they're lucky. Um, do you want to start off with some of the updates of what we did this week? Sure. Well, last week we came to you, well, we didn't. Steve and Jim came to you from Gail's place in Calgary. Gail makes the best pecan pie we've had in a long time delicious yeah yeah and she was the one such a wonderful host she welcomed us into her house she looked after us showers a massage chair everything we needed food it's delicious and so thank you gail i'll put up gail's airbnb information later in the channel <laughs> <laughs> When we left Calgary, we headed for Drumheller, looking for some dinosaurs. We found some, but I wouldn't pay the money to go walking through it. So, unfortunately, we don't have much time to go poking around and looking at the lovely sights because uh, we got to ride and get the camper to the next grounds, support the boys on the road. But um, Drumheller was a very hard ride out of it. It was a hot ride into it for the guys. Darlene and I celebrated our 39th anniversary on the uh, 16th of July in Drumheller. We got uh, out of the RV and into a hotel room just to get some a break from the uh, two guys that are stinking up a lot once they get done off the road. That's not very nice to say. No, I shouldn't say that, but I don't really get affected by it since I can't smell. Then you shouldn't complain. Okay. Okay. So we left Drumheller. We headed for Cereal. Cereal. Oh, that was a weird place. It was the Cereal Municipal or Chamber of Commerce put up the campsite. Um, and there were... There was us and one other camper. Yeah. 
and of course you're worried because you don't know where serial killers hang out. Just puts plays on your mind when you're in a place called serial. But we were fine. We were. Made it out the next day. Um, the next day we went to Kindersley. I rode into Kindersley that time. Well, actually, we rode just outside of Kindersley. And then we hopped in the van and drove to the next host and hostess who deserve huge kudos because Bonnie and Reed gave put us up while we were in Kindersley. And Jim's aunt and uncle. So it was a wonderful time to be there. Uh, they were great hosts. Bonnie makes flapper pie. Well, Bonnie makes very good pie. <laughs> Saskatchewan berry pie was fantastic too. Saskatoon berry, I think it is. Okay. okay. It, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Just in case there's anybody from Saskatchewan watching. And so then just as we walked in, oh. all our phones went off because there was a tornado warning. Good news was it passed us by, didn't touch down near us. So no. uh, the reason why we stopped 30 kilometers out is because we wanted to make an entrance. Well, the next day in, in Kindersley, they held a barbecue at the, the silent auction at the uh, museum where we got to ride in and get interviews and take pictures and meet lots of fantastic people. And the whole community was out and supportive and it was a fantastic time. It was. We had the mayor give a nice speech. The people that came and donated their money and their stuff for the uh, silent auction was fantastic. It was a very special time. Very heartwarming and a very nice place. Kindersley, Saskatchewan is a place you got to go to to see how nice it is. And if you like tractors, the museum has a whole bunch of really cool tractors. One of them is one of only 100 tractors that were ever made like that. It's a four wheel drive and I'm going to forget what kind it is, but I'll figure it out and post it later. But it, there were only a hundred of them made and one of them is in Kindersley, Saskatchewan. Um, the next day we were getting ready to leave. I pulled into the co-op to get some gas and um, I, oh, I also got some ice and I was putting the ice in the cooler and this other fellow came over to me and said, I, I missed your um, event yesterday, but here's some cash because I wanted to make a donation. So thank you, sir. You are the best. That's the type of thing we're, we're finding when we pulled over or somewhere people come and talk to us and like to donate or ask questions about Parkinson's and it's uh, really a uh, it's one of the special parts of being out on this journey and interacting with folks like that, that are there and gener the generosity that people are doing. We're getting lots of horn honks on the road as they go by us, cheering us on sort of thing. We hope it's cheering us on. And not because I cut them off. Although I did cut off some people going into Costco on in, where was that? That was in BC still, I think. No, it wasn't. Anyway, wherever it was, I cut them off. No, it was near, it was in Alberta because the fellow that came up to us in the parking lot and said, he let us in. <laughs> right. um, so, yeah. It's been a fantastic time that way. Darlene's been a super great driver. She's uh, handled Calgary and Regina now with no problems. I rode 80 kilometers, I think, the day when we went to Kindersley, when we entered at 30 kilometers outside. Oh, that was to Flatcomb. Flaxcomb. Flaxcomb. I keep getting that wrong. I get every name wrong. But anyways, uh, Dar. <laughs> um, no, that was a great time going through Saskatchewan so far. Um, one of the big things this morning, we had to get to Regina to get the boys on television. They were on the Global Morning Show. 10 after 8 this morning here in Central Standard Time. Uh, they did a great job. They did. It's uh, been posted already, so if you check out our Facebook page, you'll see it. It has? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I haven't seen it yet. Bonnie shared it. Oh. Because she's the best. <laughs> oh, no. Just, okay. Just part of it. Oh, okay. 
It's just part she recorded with from her telephone. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Um, and we did, the boys did 180 kilometers the day we left Kindersley. Yeah. 180 kilometers in one day. I couldn't do 180 kilometers in 10 days. <laughs> they, that was Jim's longest ride. Steve's done a couple of that wrong in the past, but Steve averaged 35 kilometers per hour over that uh, 180 K. He's a beast. And Jim, Jim did it as well and came in not too long after Steve. And again, his longest ride, it was fantastic. Uh, both of them are holding up well. They do their stretches regularly. Um, they've got more than enough equipment on the bus to beat and pummel ah. parts of their body that I don't even know where they belong. Um, but they're doing, they're keeping up. So they're now, with today's ride, they'll be almost 3,600. Got to show the viewers. It's actually, it's actually your leg they're you're over 34 on. before they started today. And they're going to do it anyone today, today. So. You can't say compassion yeah. without. Compassion. We had to go drop. Darlene had to go drop them off back outside of Regina because we came in early. To make sure we not miss the television it's option. Massage on the bike. The trip. Then we had to take them back out, and now they're riding into Regina, where I got to spend the day in a nice hotel room and work on, well, some pictures and stuff for you guys. Yeah. Um. What else did we? What else did we do this week? Um, we enjoyed dinner out last night in celebration of the riding we'd been doing lately. As I say, I'm up over 400 kilometers now, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, it's been fun. Sion, uh, Saskatchewan is a hard place to ride. I thought the mountains were tough, but you end up looking at these hills going along so far in the ahead that you're they're playing on your mind for a few miles or a few kilometers before you even get there and that's still getting to the top of the hill and as soon as you get to the top a long stretch to the next hill and a long long stretch to the next hill but uh it's, it's a good thing the park we stayed at uh last night a provincial park here in saskatchewan what again the name i forget saskatchewan landing yeah. provincial park I, it was on diefenbaker lake which i went for a swim so i've got my swim in uh to, uh, Saskatchewan out of the way, uh, trying to swim in every province, ride in every province, and something else, but I forget it right now. <laughs> oh yes, I'm having margaritas in every province too, trying to see where the best ones are in the country. I do this for you. Um, I'm hard, I'm hard at it, and trying to keep big track. Um, we, so the park was wonderful. The Beef and Baker thing had lots of trees that went down into a valley. It's a gorgeous place. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of Ontario in some ways, but not the trees. Um, but it was very, very lovely place, but still windy. Yeah, Saskatchewan is windy. When people tell you Saskatchewan is windy, they are not exaggerating. It is windy out here. And trust me, I'm windy, so I know what windy is. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this riding, and when I'm doing it with these guys, they take care of me. They've got their uh, radar on so they know when cars are coming up behind us. And they take care of me on the road. And um, I can't tell you that 40 kilometers is a breeze now. When I took, when we first started the Rigid Riders and I did that 40K, that was an epic adventure for me. But now they say 40 kilometers, and I'm going, what? kidding me and um i like that keep at it and it seems to pay off so i think we'll let me go there um the boys didn't come running in so we'll have to oh there's the text we might have to go look for them um so we'll do that that way you'll have them next week hopefully we'll be able to back go back to our supporting role and yeah because they're better looking than us well they're not as cute as us <laughs> see y'all Hey everybody, we really hoped you enjoyed this episode of the Spinning Wheels Parkinson's Conversation with Jim here podcast. I know I did, right? That, that literally was my favorite YouTube live and this is probably going to be one of my favorite episodes of the podcast. 
Um, we ask if you could uh, share this podcast with one other person. Uh, we would sincerely appreciate that. If you like what you're seeing and listening to, don't be shy about uh, leaving a rating or a comment. We'd love to hear from you and we'll get back uh, to you in due time. Uh, remember, we're doing this because we're about to launch the 2024 Spinning Wheels Relay to End Parkinson's. Uh, we have an exciting announcement coming up soon, but uh, we are going to cycle coast to coast again. Well, not necessarily coast to coast. We're going to cycle coast to coast, coast and coast into Ottawa and have a big rally. So we're really looking forward to it. More details to follow. Thanks again for watching or listening. His first comments was it tastes awful. And, um, you know, that maybe that works for cough syrup, but uh, it shouldn't be the case for tea. So PDT tastes nice. Thank you.